It is now day 32 of the government shutdown. This morning, a new plan is on the table to help some federal workers in the Bay Area affected by the shutdown. KPIX 5's Kit Doe is live at San Francisco City Hall to explain. Kit? Good morning. Supervisor Matt Haney has been highlighting how other cities, both large and small, are finding their own ways to help out these workers. And he says that San Francisco has yet to jump in. Haney represents uh, District 6, which is home to the vast majority of the federal buildings in San Francisco. That includes the EPA, the Department of Justice, the Courthouse, and also the Coast Guard. And so California, it turns out, has the country's highest proportion of the number of federal workers impacted by the shutdown, something on the order of 42,000 workers statewide. It is unclear exactly how many of them are in the Bay Area and how they would qualify for the help, but uh, Supervisor Haney has a plan to help them nonetheless, and that includes free public transportation in the city of San Francisco, and he'll be calling on agencies like BART and Caltrain to try and help out as well. Uh, deferring bill payments to the city, which includes parking tickets, uh, health care and utility payments, emergency loans for rent and mortgage, food assistance, and also short-term work placement. In a written statement, Supervisor Haney said, quote, when the White House declares a war on federal workers, we must step up locally and have their backs. The livelihoods of federal workers and contractors here in San Francisco should not be held hostage during this Trump government shutdown. And so Supervisor Haney will be introducing this proposal later on today here at City Hall in San Francisco. And we're live. Kit Doe, KPIX 5.